Hello, my name is Kylie and welcome to Ancient History, the Ancient Egyptians Part 1. In this video, we will take a look at the basic events in ancient Egyptian history from its founding to its end. In Part 2 of the series, we will look at ancient Egyptian culture, art, and religion. Ready to journey into Egypt's long and fabled past? Let's go! Egyptian Empire lasted from circa 3100 BC to 30 BC. Remember, circa means circa or about because historians do not know the exact date. Ancient Egyptian history is filled with interesting facts about Egyptian kings and queens called pharaohs, mummies, and large monuments called pyramids, which can still be seen today. Pharaohs were kings and queens that ruled Egypt and were considered gods. They were the heads of families, and these rulers often married their own relatives to keep control over Egypt in their family. We know about these rulers because of the work done by archaeologists and historians. Archaeologists who study ancient Egypt are called Egyptologists. They have uncovered tombs or burial sites of these powerful rulers. Pharaohs believed that they could take their wealth and power with them after they died. This was due to their belief in an afterlife. They constructed huge monuments, statues, stones, tombs filled with art, wall paintings, carvings, gold, and other items. Often, a new pharaoh would begin construction on their tomb the moment they took power because it could take up to 30 years or more to build their tomb. These tombs give modern archaeologists a lot of information about how the pharaohs lived, ruled, and died. Many times, great battles and other historical events were carved into the walls of the tomb to show off a pharaoh's impressive reign or time they ruled in history. Approximately 170 pharaohs ruled ancient Egypt over its 2,800-year history. Some famous Egyptian pharaohs that we know about today and are quite popular to study are Khufu, ruled during 2589 BCE to 2566 BCE and built the Great Pyramid as his magnificent tomb. Egyptologists are still studying this pyramid and make interesting new discoveries every day still. Hatshepsut ruled from about 20 years, from circa 1479 BC to 1458 BC. She organized military campaigns and sent out trade expeditions to bring exotic goods to Egypt. King Tut, whose real name was Tutankhamun, ruled from the age of 9 until his death at age 19 in circa 1324 BC. He was known for reversing a lot of his father pharaoh Akhenaten's laws. Pharaohs who came after him tried to scratch out all the carvings of him to erase his memory. Egyptologists uncovered his tomb in the 1920s. The most famous artifact to come out of his tomb is his sarcophagus, or the container that holds his mummy. Cleopatra VII ruled from circa 51 to 30 BC, and she was the last pharaoh of Egypt. She tried to hold off the Romans from taking over the Egyptian kingdom, but failed. She ruled beside three pharaohs, including her young son, and she was the girlfriend of Mark Antony of Rome. She is rumored to have been the most beautiful woman that ever lived. In order to take a closer look at ancient Egyptian history, we need to learn about how Egyptologists and historians have divided its time periods into sections. These sections are called different things depending upon who ruled and what important events occurred. These time periods are the late pre-dynastic period from 3100 BC to 2950 BC, the early dynastic period from 2950 BC to 2575 BC, Old Kingdom, which was from 2575 BC to 2150 BC, 
The first intermediate period from 2150 BC to 1975 BC, Middle Kingdom from 1975 BC to 1640 BC, Second Intermediate Period from 1640 BC to 1520 BC, New Kingdom from 1520 BC to 1075 BC, Third Intermediate Period from 1075 BC to 715 BC, and Late Period from 715 BC to 332 BC. The late pre-diagnostic period, which lasted from 3100 BC to 2950 BC, is known as the beginning of what we think of in terms of ancient Egypt. Menes is considered the first pharaoh of Egypt because he brought the north and south parts of Egypt together into one kingdom. The ancient form of Egyptian writing with pictures, known as hieroglyphics, was invented at this time. The early dynastic period, which lasted from 2950 BC to 2575 BC, is the second major period in Egyptian history. The Egyptian capital of Memphis was founded, the first pyramid at Saqqara was built, and Egyptologists believe that the first writing on papyrus, a kind of paper, was invented. The Old Kingdom was a time period from 2575 BC to 2150 BC, an Egyptian history from which many famous artifacts and landmarks come. The Great Pyramids at Giza and the Sphinx Monument were constructed during this time. Mummification, a technique of preserving a body after death, had begun to be practiced. People and animals were mummified. Pharaohs had less power and there were great turmoil and disagreements. The government at the capital city of Memphis fell and ancient Egypt was in chaos. After the Old Kingdom ended, rebellions against the pharaohs began. This marked the first intermediate period, which lasted from 2150 BC to 1975 BC. The Egyptian Book of the Dead was written which was a religious text that was thought to help the dead find their way to the afterlife. During this time period, Egypt suffered a horrible drought, which caused great suffering and many, many deaths. The drought caused famine, which is when there is not enough food to feed an area's population causing starvation. Pharaohs Mentuatep and Amenhotep ruled the time period from 1975 BC to 1640 BC, which is known as the Middle Kingdom. After the chaos of the previous time periods, these two pharaohs were able to once again unite Egypt. A new capital city was named, Thebes. The second intermediate period lasted from 1640 BC to 1520 BC. The Hyksos tribe briefly took over control of some of northern Egypt. During their control of the area, Egypt gained new crops, animals, and new ways to make bronze tools. They introduced the horse and chariot to Egypt as well. These new inventions and items would go on to help Egypt in later battles with other groups of people. The New Kingdom period, which lasted from 1520 BC to 1075 BC, saw the Hyksos people expelled from Egypt. Pharaohs once again ruled Egypt, and Hatshepsut would become the very first female pharaoh. One of the most magnificent creations from this time was a temple at Karnak that was built in a place known as the Valley of the Kings. This temple and the valley were used as burial sites for pharaohs and other important people. The capital city was moved from Thebes back to Memphis. King Tutankhamun, aka King Tut, also ruled during this period. Third intermediate period from 1075 BC to 715 BC has Egypt once again being divided. A northern capital city, Tanis, was formed along with the southern capital city of Thebes. A pharaoh named Shoshank the first reunited the country after the time of the division. The last period of ancient Egypt is known as the Late Period. 
It lasted from 715 BC to 332 BC. Alexander the Great conquered Egypt for Greece in 332 BC. Cleopatra ruled after this period from around 51 to 30 BC. Cleopatra eventually lost control of Egypt to Roman forces and ended her own life. Egypt became part of the Roman Empire and the great era of ancient Egypt came to an end. Each of these periods can be looked at in terms of a few key people and events. Remember, this is just an overview of this time in history. There are many books, websites, and other materials available for you to research ancient Egyptian history. In part two of this series, we will take a look at ancient Egyptian art and culture. To practice what you've learned, you can play our fun online games and quizzes. Until next time, remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.